Do you want to know how to improve your art and design skills? Or how to analyse a work of art like a true critic? The secret to this is the visual elements. There are seven of them. Line, shape, pattern, tone, form, texture and colour. Today we're going to focus on texture. When we think about texture, we normally think about our sense of touch and 3D objects or sculptures. But understanding texture fully can also help us to improve our drawing skills and our painting skills. In this video, I'll be discussing texture in works of art, and I'll show you a few different ways you can create texture in your own work. Texture is the tactile quality of the surface of a work of art. Or, put more simply, texture means how something feels. We experience texture in two ways. Visually, through our sense of sight, which is what you're doing right now. Or, physically, through our sense of touch. Visual texture is the illusion of texture. The photorealist painters of the late 1900s and early 2000s were the best at creating this illusion. For example, in this painting by Ralph Goings, and yes, it really is a painting, we can see the really sticky looking texture of that donut. But if we were to touch it, we would feel just the smooth surface of that painting. To create the illusion of texture, we can use a mixture of the other visual elements like line, shape and tone, though tone is often the most important when we're creating texture. Physical texture is the actual physical surface of an artwork or design. It describes the tactile feeling you would get if you were to run your hand over that artwork. Physical texture is a very important part of sculpture, and sculptors think a lot about how to engage the viewer's sense of touch even if the audience isn't actually allowed to touch their artwork in real life. For example, if you were to run your hand over this sculpture by Anthony Gormley, you would feel the cold, hard and rough texture of that rusty metal. Many artists use physical texture in painting to show their technique or to express emotion. The British artist Frank Auerbach has created many heavily textured artworks that show his long and arduous process through thick layers of oil paint. Applying thick areas of paint on a canvas like this is known as impasto. This thick paint creates a visual effect that allows you to see the individual brush strokes that that artist has used. Frank Auerbach is quite an extreme example of this technique though many artists use it in lesser ways. In a slightly less extreme example, I've been working on this landscape painting recently, and I've been experimenting with impasto up in the clouds to create some contrast between the sky and the smooth hills below. It's not quite finished yet. If we zoom in here on these clouds, we can see the brush marks left from when I was painting this. This adds a sense of direction and also that element of texture that we're looking at. Now, this might not always be the most appropriate way to paint. It might not always be what you're aiming for, but it is another way that you can experiment with texture in your work. Over the next week, try practicing these different types of texture. Get creative and see what other textures you can create. It's important to remember you should expect to make a few mistakes. Don't be disheartened, but do your best to learn from those mistakes. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for listening.